Hello everybody, this is Danny with Parte. So I just wanted to give you another quick update on the formula as it's come along. Um, did some refinement today and I'm really, really pleased guys and here's why. So see uh, the panel that's before you. You can see the edges of the panel and see if you notice anything interesting about the panel. It shouldn't be too unobvious. But here's the beauty of the panel itself. <clears throat> so if I turn the screen off, you can see here that side of the panel is the same color as the screen behind it, the larger screen. And then this is a charcoal. It's not actually the black because um, I was testing on <clears throat> just different colors uh, that's within our color spectrum. So... Essentially, the way the formula works is I can tone everything from black up to white. Now, obviously, as I get into white, um, I start uh, losing some of my contrast. You can see the difference here to here, right? Um, but that's the reason I don't go to a pure white. I've got an eggshell that gives me not the same contrast as my screen here, the, my personal screen. Um, but, you know, for a white, gives additional contrast because it's a, it's a little bit of an eggshell color. <clears throat> okay, so just wanted to bring everybody up to date on what's going on with the formula. So what I've been doing today is uh, going back and taking the new core, um, core formula, and re-engineering our color spectrum. Um, so that we're able to offer we'll have two lines that'll be coming out we'll have the ALF which is your ambient light fighting um, screens and I've got three varying degrees of those I'm going to pause in just a second and I'll show you what that looks like and then we're going to have the high G's um, the high G's are going to be our poly pro series for additional brightness but those are meant for areas where you do have controlled lighting um, they're going to give you um, a higher gain uh, for a darker color so you get the additional contrast you get not greater than a one gain but it'll, it brings up to about a 0.8 gain so I'm going to pause and show you something real quick so I'm going to try to show you this I think it'll help that if it's picking up from the camera right you can see sort of lines here and here and what that is is trying to push the boundaries of the diffusion agent now um, when I first got into this, there were a lot of folks who were talking about using different physical uh, diffusion agents, physical being um, um, rigid particle, um, thinking in along the terms of like talcs or flowers, uh, somebody even recommended a creamer, uh, but just different things, cornstarch, things you, that you could use as a diffuser. And I tried some of those things, and they didn't do a bad job in diffusion. The problem was is that it becomes very gritty. They don't completely... Um, melt down into your mixture. Yeah, even if you wait for a while, they don't completely melt down. There's always going to be some um, degree of graininess. And there's also coloration. Um, every one of those things lighten the mix a good bit. Now you can see these lines because this is under uh, a light here. But if you were just looking at the panel under standard, standard situations, you would just, it would all be the same color. If I could put it into similar light it's just a, a one color panel um, what you're picking up there isn't a difference in color <clears throat> it's a difference in the diffusion agent uh, and the concentration of the diffusion agent so you look at this this is essentially what a matte um, poly like just a straight matte poly would get you this is what we were using up till date so I was you know running into problems whenever we run into extremely high um, ambient light situations with being able to diffuse it efficiently across the screen and then we moved into this and 
The reason that this was important is because you want to diffuse, but as you diffuse, you don't want to lose your image because a lot of times what will happen is it will start to, to lighten the edges of your image. It will become a little bit blurry. It will also uh, sort of darken the tone. Um, it, just, it, it just modifies the image in a way that's not pleasing to the eye. Um, but this allows it to continue to be bright. Um, while diffusing very efficiently across the surface. Um, this handles in the light very well. You can see it compared to the other two. This one's going to be very shiny um, under the light. This one less, and that one the least of all. And if you try to get in here, you can see, I mean, there's little bumps in here, but this is just from stuff um, that's got in there while I'm rolling it because I just rolled these tiles. But this is completely smooth, and the reason for that is because it's liquid-based. It's a liquid-based diffuser, um, which allows me to keep it transparent, um, but it almost comes out like a brush transparent. Doesn't change the color, but just changes the surface enough to diffuse the light, so it's not quite so shiny, so flat. But very smooth no particle so you don't have to worry about particle when you spray a screen me I want a screen to be as flat and look immaculate across its surface I don't want to have little particles and bumps and nodules and all that kind of stuff I want a screen I want a flat screen um, so and I want a good flat image bouncing back at me and it makes a difference because your edges are just gonna look that much sharper um, but just wanted to give you guys an idea as to what's going on with the formulas before launch. And uh, I'm actually mixing up a bunch of batches of the core formula tonight because um, as I get ready to start, um, we're going to go ahead and start creating uh, a number of screens to have in reserve. So as we go to market with the actual orders um, or pre-orders, um, you know, we'll have some in the can. They'll be ready to ship. Um, people won't have to wait so a lot going on here and we appreciate your time i uh, hope you enjoyed maybe walked away with something from this uh, i know i have as i've been working on all of this <laughs> um, but hopefully uh you know everybody's learning along the way if you guys uh, have any questions feel free to reach out to us at the email in the description and i hope you guys have a good night bye